Hello YouTube and welcome to my week eight and week nine um, fat loss phase update. So uh, quite a lot has happened since I left you um, at the uh, start of week seven. So I'm going to catch you up now. Um, so at the start of week seven, I was hitting um, 136 uh, pounds every day leading up to that. Um, I was waking up looking really lean for the first time in my whole fat loss phase. Um, but that leanness was kind of disappearing by the afternoon visually, which is usually um, the first sign for me. Actually, the first thing that normally happens for me is that I'll feel tighter um, and smaller, but I won't see anything. And it's really weird, um, but that's usually the first sign that I'm losing fat, body fat. The second sign is um, when I start to wake up and look leaner, um, but the, always by the afternoon, um, initially that disappears, but it's a, it's a really good sign. Um, and that's kind of where I was at 136 LBs, only four pounds down from my start weight um, at the beginning of week seven. Um, and I was on 1500 calories, which for me historically is where I need to get to, to actually really start to see visual aesthetic fat loss results historically. But, you know, as I keep saying, these things do change. kind of the longer that I do this for, um, the more weird, unpredictable changes I see. Everything from calorie numbers to cardio numbers to um, weight that I uh, start to see results at. Um, I think initially when I started doing this seven and a half years ago, I would start to look really lean at about 125 pounds. which is, I mean, I could, I don't think I could ever get to that now. Um, I just have way more mass on me. Um, my, it progressively increased over time, even though I've been leaner since, but at a heavier weight. Um, and I think the last time I got lean, I was weighing in at 129 pounds. So that was four pounds up and that would all be muscle mass. So um, that's kind of quite typical for me now. So as I started to near on week eight, um, I was, <laughs> I started to get really, really ill. Um, and what happens to me when I get ill, no matter what it is, whether it's a tummy bug and I'm vomiting, It's really weird, you know, you would have thought that even when you're kind of purging your body, you would lose. But the opposite always happens to me, whether I'm menstruating, if I'm poorly, no matter what it is, my weight will shoot up. I mean, high, quite significantly. So it's really weird. I woke up um, at the beginning, kind of the beginning of week seven, I was waking up at 136 pounds. And then midway through the week, my weight just shot up to 140. So right back to start point. And I was like, hmm, I think I'm going to get ill. And I can see it too visually. Like my body looks, I don't know, just quite like inflamed, bloated, watery, soft. Um, all my results disappeared. And I was like, hmm, I think I'm going to get ill. It did drop back down towards the end of week seven. Uh, it dropped back down to 136 pounds, so where it had been the week previous. Um, but at that point, I got a full on flu. So I got it for my husband actually, and I didn't think I would get it because he got it a good week before me. But he still has it now, and I'm over it. So obviously, it's really knocked him. Um, and I definitely took a hit, but nothing like him. So anyway, it was. 136, shot up to 140 when I got ill, came back down to 136, no changes. Um, so I started week eight yet again at 136. 
And I've noticed this trend on this fat loss phase um, specifically in that I will normally get a result and then plateau for a couple of weeks, get a result and then plateau, which is really interesting. And I've noticed it um, start to happen like that. Um, it's not unnatural for me. I mean, I would say historically, I do tend to get a good weigh in and then plateau. Um, this is just so gradual though, that it's a little bit frustrating. You no, know, it's gradual, but at least it's moving, you know. So I've actually had a prep before where I just, my body just didn't respond because I didn't give myself enough time. Um, but, you know, I can see that things are, are changing. So at the start of week eight, 136 LBs again. So I increased my cardio by five minutes, which took me from 45 minutes, six days a week, um, to 50 minutes, six days a week. Now I should preface the rest of what I'm going to say um, by saying I tend to cap my cardio at 60 minutes so I'm obviously getting closer um, to capping it um, and I'm more than happy to get there sooner rather than later um, in fact I'm always it's preferable for me to get there sooner rather than later week eight on 50 minutes a day, six days a week. And then again, it is five sessions of steady state. Again, one session of hit split with steady state. So it'll be 25 minutes of hit, uh, followed by like a cool down period of 25 minutes of less. Um, and that's how I like to do it, but you don't need to do it like that. However you want to break up your cardio, it's totally up to you. Um, if you plateau, I recommend adding a little bit onto your cardio or deducting some of your calories. Um, but however you want to split it up and like divvy it up is completely up to you. Remember, it's always a weekly average. Um, I also implemented a really small calorie decrease. So I left my fats the same uh, at 60 grams. I left my protein the same at 140 grams. But what I said um, in my last video about how I like to eat five times a day and that will stay the same probably until the very end of my fat loss phase. Um, and I like to eat five times a day because as I said, it's just really, it sits really well for me. You know, it gives me room to have breakfast, pre-workout, post-workout, dinner. I never train in the evening if I can help it. Um, and then, yeah, like something before bed really. Um, so for me, eating five times a day is, is a really nice kind of number um so basically what i was doing was i was having 100 grams of carbs a day kind of divvied up into 20 grams a meal which is a good number because it allows for either a really big uh, voluminous like veggie dish um or a slightly smaller fast digesting carb dish um so i got to the point at the beginning of week eight where I was like, okay, I'm already on 1500 calories, which is quite low. Um, and I'm able to have, you know, 20 grams of carbs a meal. So I was like, okay, screw it. What I'll do is I'll go from 100 grams of carbs a day down to 75 grams of carbs a day, which is now 15 grams of carbs a meal, five meals a day, which I like to do. And that essentially means that now I'm in the veggie camp. Um, so no more starchy carbs for me. Pretty much all five of those meals are going to be um, kind of negligible carbohydrates. Things like, you know, whey protein will have some carbs in it, obviously. You know, it's, it's a, a lactose. Um, you know, things like... Um, vegetables will have carbs in them but 15 grams per meal allows me to have a lot of freedom within those food choices but i have to stick to those food choices so this is when like implementing a meal plan even though i track gets really helpful because i kind of know what i can eat throughout the day and it's like easy and it's um achievable and predictable so yeah i deducted my carbohydrates uh from 100 grams a day to 75 grams a day uh which saw exactly a 100 calorie decrease um 
and I now and then so at the start of week eight was on fourteen hundred calories. Um, I should also say that this is kind of my basement carb intake. Um, I don't really drop below fifteen grams a meal, five meals a day. Um, I don't intend on dropping my carbs again. So basement carbs now and getting closer to ceiling cardio, which is interesting. So then what I decided to do was, this, this is all at the beginning of week eight, for the Saturday and Sunday of week eight, so the last two days, the sixth and seventh day of week eight, I decided to implement two consecutive refeed dates. This is very fun for me because I find that most people, myself included, find dieting um, a lot more enjoyable and um, kind of a lot more adherable. If there's something to look forward to, and I actually think that about everything in life, like if I'm going through a really stressful time with work, but I know that I've got a holiday in two, three, four months time, I kind of, it kind of pushes me to keep going and keep the momentum and to know that there's a reward at the end. So refeed days are really helpful. So I implemented a Saturday and Sunday refeed, very simply doubling my carbs. So for those, my protein will stay the same at 140 grams, my fat will stay the same at 60 grams, but my carbs will go from 75 grams a day up to 150 grams a day for two days consecutively, which takes me up to 1700 calories. Um, I didn't, now a, a really good indicator, a really good thing to do um, if you are interested in doing refeeds is um, to go back up to your maintenance calories via carbohydrate increase. Um, so I started my diet uh, at around about 1900 calories and I didn't actually start to see my body move. I didn't start to see any progress at all until I was hitting between 16 and 1700 calories. Um, and that's when I started to see a drop. I think that's when I weighed in at 137. So I'd come down like three pounds at that point. So doubling my carbs up to 150 grams from 75, which takes me up to like 1700 calories, I think is a really good place for me to start. Um, and I, I'll start there and I'll see what happens. So that's what I did um, at the beginning of week eight. Now, through week eight into week nine, the start of week nine, I was weighing in um, on average at 135 pounds. So I dropped a pound and that happened pretty much immediately. So I did my Saturday and Sunday refeeds. Um, on Sunday, I weighed in at uh, 135. So that was good. Um, on Monday, I weighed in at 136, so I went back up. And then on Tuesday, I weighed back in again at 135. Um, so I started my week nine at 135 pounds. Um, now, as I said, because I'm getting really, I'm already at my basement carbs uh, Monday through Friday at 75 grams a day. I'm coming really close now, uh, 50 minutes a day cardio to my ceiling cardio, which is 60 minutes a day. And I'm getting much closer to my shoots. My shoots are now in like three and four weeks, right? So I was like, but just keep the momentum going. Um, you know, like I say, I don't want to scramble at the end and panic at the end. I want to feel like I am in shape. I've been in shape. I'm ready. It's fine. So again, small increases. I added five minutes onto my cardio. This is now the beginning of week nine. I'm 135 pounds. Um, I've gone from 50 minutes uh, cardio to 55 minutes of cardio six days a week. Um, again, I will cap it at 60, uh, probably in week 10. Um, I'd rather get there sooner rather than later. And again, another really small calorie decrease just from fats. That's it. The fats is the only thing now I'm going to decrease. I won't touch my protein. I won't touch my carbs anymore. It's just fats now. 60 grams of fats is still high. Um, so I've gone from 60 grams of fat a day to 55 grams of fat a day, which has seen a decrease of 45 calories. So I am now on 1,355 calories. This for me is low. Um... It's not actually low uh, for a lot of people who are my size. Um, but for me, 
like I think the lowest they've ever gone is like in the week or two before a shoot like maybe 1200 so being at 1300 when I've got like three or four weeks to go is quite low um 1355 calories again refeeds are staying the same saturday and sunday uh, i will double my carbs and go from um 75 grams a day double it to 150 uh, grams of carbs which will total 1700 calories i saw a loss only a one pound loss but at this point when i'm looking leaner um a one pound loss is good um, I saw a loss on that last week in week eight, so I am really happy to leave it there. Um, and if, you know, uh, you know, right now I'm currently at the beginning of week nine. Um, if at the beginning of week 10 I haven't dropped again, I will reassess um, the situation. But I still have some cardio to be added. When you're depleted, you're on low calories, you're doing 40, 45, 50, 55 minutes of cardio a day, um, your energy is going to take a hit. If you're in a fat loss phase, if your body is actively burning fat for fuel, you're going to feel tired, you're going to feel run down. You know, having that boost of carbs is really, really, really helpful. Um, I normally recommend that people, um, you know, pull in their refeed numbers as they get deeper and deeper into a diet and that is uh simply because your maintenance calories are going to come down because your body mass is going to come down and as your body mass lowers all of your necessary numbers will lower you know from maintenance to fat loss to gaining all of it everything will come down however i've had really successful um finishes to fat loss phases before uh where i've actually done the opposite and i've kind of as i've gotten really close to shoot day and i'm talking like two three weeks before i'll bump up my carbs even more um but that will that really depends on how i look and right now the positive is that i've i've lost weight i'm weighing in at 135 pounds pretty consistently um so that's a really big positive of um, where I'm at, you know, whereas like a couple of weeks ago, I was weighing in really consistently at 136 pounds. So I know I'm losing. Another really big positive is that I went from looking lean only in the morning when I woke up to now looking lean, leaner, I should say, most of the day, um, apart from when I got poorly and my water weight shot up. Um, and if I've had like loads of fiber and loads of water, and then I just look like a big glumpy balloon, but if, if those two things aren't a factor and you do have to, you do have to check this with yourself, you know, if you're going to drive yourself insane by checking out your body 24 hours a day and believe me, it will mess with your head. You have to check yourself. Okay. So I'm like, okay, I'm 135 pounds. I've lost five pounds from where I started. And as someone who is, you know, not, I've never been like obese. I've never really struggled with a huge amount of body fat. Um, you know, the biggest I've ever been is like a size 12. So for me to lose five pounds, that's pretty good. And to go from waking up and being like, oh, I look lean, which is great, to now being like, again, unless I'm poorly or have had loads of fiber and loads of water to be like oh i stayed lean there's a really good sign so you know you've got to check yourself i am gonna do progress pictures i promise i'm just being really lazy i think because i got ill it just really for me it really like hits me mentally i just lose like quite a lot of momentum and i just mm, i feel like i'm like stuck in a tar pit um mentally but I'm getting, I'm getting there. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on in my personal life as well, behind the scenes, which I'm sure everybody will find out about soon enough. Hopefully all that news will be out next week and I can talk more about it then. But um, yeah, if you've got stuff going on in your personal life, if you're menstruating, if you're poorly, um, if you're having a really high fiber diet or you've upped your water intake, um, 
you have to be aware like you have to really think about what's changed and how it's going to affect how you look so you know if i'm ill you know if i'm stressed if there's a lot of stuff going on um you know you have to you have to kind of mentally check yourself um so yeah, like, look, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm ready at all for my shoots, but I definitely feel like I'm making progress and that's the most I can do. Um, so I will see you guys in week 10 and hopefully we can talk more than, <laughs> we can talk, I will talk more than about, um, you know, the stuff that's been happening behind the scenes and hopefully I'll be coming at you with um, another loss. Um, all right, guys. Thank you so much. Have a good week.